Welcome to another edition of News Bites here on Daily World Television. My name is Cal Korf and I'm your host. Scientists at NASA are starting the first phase of beginning actual human test trials for a new pill that has been invented which holds the promise to expand or extend human life. How it works is it basically interferes with the gene that sends a signal that controls how cells reproduce in the human body. This gene, if it does not fire the right signal, does not trigger the release to have other cells in the body reproduce themselves. Scientists have developed this technology and have already successfully tested it in mice. What happened was astounding. The short version of it is this. After developing an experimental drug, they injected it into a bunch of mice in a laboratory. These were mice that were advanced in years. Within a few weeks, all of the DNA had been replaced by new cells. This, of course, has rejuvenated or rebooted the mice and allows them to live a lot longer. Now they're beginning the first phase of testing this drug on human beings. The reason for doing this has to do with going to Mars. The United States is going to Mars. There is an official program to land humans on Mars from America by the year 2017 or 2018. The real problem, however, is physics. Mars is so far away and our space propulsion and technology systems are so slow compared to the distance that is required to travel to Mars that it takes about a year to get there at current speeds. The problem is, is that the solar radiation is so intense that about 5% of a human body would be irradiated beyond repair, guaranteeing a cancer rate of 100%. Put another way, this means that by the time the astronauts using present technologies landed on Mars, they would have cancer and would die. Obviously, that's not a solution. NASA hopes to avoid this problem by injecting the astronauts with this new potentially amazing drug. By giving them this drug, theoretically, at least on paper, they will be able to rejuvenate their cells thus getting rid of any chances of developing cancer even though they still would be irradiated. Now this is not ultimately the final solution. NASA is working on more powerful propulsion engines, but they're still in the test phase. Nobody knows yet until those tests are completed whether they will be ready in time to be fitted on a ship that will go to Mars. Then there are more advances and breakthroughs that need to be made in addressing the very real issue of lack of gravity on a human system for one year. Human beings are designed to work in and live in an environment that has gravity. Without gravity, the body does not function as it should, bones get weak. Even the Apollo astronauts who went in space for just several days to the moon and returned, although they were successful, they felt weak and had problems standing and walking at first after they splashed down back to Earth. But nonetheless, back to the main point of the story, NASA is going to begin actual human trials of a drug that is designed to extend the lives of human beings. And that is very exciting.